All right, today we are cleaning up this algae and mildew covered paver patio. It's long overdue and we're gonna get to scrubbing it. I've got some 30 second outdoor cleaner and a pump sprayer there. We'll get right to it. So I have used this 30 second outdoor cleaner before. It works pretty well. Normally I can just spray it on, let it sit for about 15 minutes and then rinse it off and that cleans the pavers well enough but I decided to scrub it a little bit more today because I've let it go far too long and it's a little bit caked over uh, with some pretty thick mildew and, and mold. Uh, so one to one ratio, one gallon of cleaner with one gallon of water, mix it up really well. And then we're just going to coat it on nice and heavily uh, everywhere that uh, basically the entire mm -hmm. patio. Um, this was plenty for this patio or that amount, that two gallons is plenty for if you're just coating a 20 by 20 area. That's about what this runs. I used the entire uh, two gallons simply because it was thick. Uh, and pretty heavy and I was pretty liberal with it but uh, I, I forget how many square feet you get out of this concentrate in the, in the two gallons but it's, pre it's a pretty good amount. So you let it sit for again about 15 minutes. Uh, you can already see it starting to turn yellow and orange kind of that rustic color uh, a few moments after spraying it. That means it's working. See how it's already started to turn this orange color and it's coming off really cleanly this is gross all i'm doing is wiping over it i'm not even pressing that hard and you can see all of the mold coming out of the cracks the like sludge definitely recommend gloves and i should probably be wearing a mask giving it simply bleach Just redouse it with a little bit of the bleach. Make sure it's staying nice and wet. And scrubbing both the paver and in between the cracks. Kind of using the ends, the corners to get in here. It's also important not to push those bristles too far down into the cracks and crevices. You'll pull up the sand that binds the pavers together. So I'm really just scrubbing on the tops. We're just gonna continue to do this all over the spots that need it. And it'll be nice, nice and new once we're done. Now we'll give it a light rinse and again being careful not to jet the water down in between the cracks and crevices to pull up the sand uh, of the pavers and it cleans up really nicely. And now that you're clearing a lot of the dirt and sludge away you can see if you've missed any spots like we have here. You can just go back and reapply the second coat of it. And you can see it all just washing off there. It's gonna look really nice when it's dry. Don't mind my unfinished pergola posts. And there we have it. I have used this product on my pavers probably once a year for the last three or four years. Doesn't take from the color it has not caused any problems so very happy with it let me know if you have any questions <laughs>